What up, dudes? It's Gaz, and welcome back to the Warframe video. So, today we got some news via Twitter about the upcoming Archon Shard Pity system. If you've been not playing Warframe in a while, we have these new things called Archon Shards that basically increase the stats of your Warframe's uh, builds, or even increase the stats of your weapons, depending which shards you use. And we're getting a new system, basically they're not very easy to obtain, and they're making it a system where the enhanced version, the Tau Shard version, is going to have a better drop rate, basically if you get unlucky in the first place. So we had an idea of what that old system would be, and just if, as you can see right here, the Tau Shard version is just strictly better. The, the stats on the, the right are what you're getting additionally by having the Tau Shard version versus the normal Shard version. So we're just going to quickly go over uh, some information that came out today because it was looking like a pretty bad system, what they had announced. Uh, but the lead gameplay designer did give some clarification on Twitter, so we'll be going over that tweet today. All right, so hopefully you enjoy these videos. We do daily Warframe video uploads. We'll also be live later tonight on the live stream with some Warframe and actually probably a couple Destiny 2 missions as well, just to sneak a couple in before Lightfall. All right, so the tweet in question today is actually going to be uh, Pablo, the guy that designed like Nidus, Garuda, and etc. Like for good frames, basically, tweeting at another uh, Warframe content creator, uh, Brozine. So first, Brozine asked, Hey, Pablo, can you clarify the Tau Forge pity system? Does each color of shard have individual pity? If not, I think uh, that there would be a, it would lead to many players simply not running the missions on weeks that aren't the color they need Tau Forge. So basically, if you were watching anyone's videos uh, about the Tau shards, people are saying, okay, well, if you're going to make a pity system where it's 20% increased drop rate every time you don't get a shard, I'm not going to even bother playing on weeks where it's like blue shards, the ones I just showed, because a lot of people don't consider armor increase, health regen, shield capacity, like, health pool increase. People don't consider that very important compared to the, the red ones, which give you, like, power strength and things like that. Um, so that people were saying, I'm just not going to do weeks that have the blue shards because blue shards aren't worth it because I don't want to waste my pity timer on that. So Pablo clarified. Now, this, was, this tweet was asked about, like, a week ago, but Pablo said he missed the tweet. So Pablo responded to the tweet and said, Sorry, missed your message. It is separate odds for each type. So, if you do the Boreal Archon fight, a.k.a. the blue one that we have right now, uh, and you don't get it, next week on Amar, your odds are still 20%. But when Boreal Archon shows up in two weeks after that, the odds will be 40%. So, basically that means that the pity system is per color, like we were hoping. So, that probably the best way they could do a generic pity system like that. So, for example... I did not get a Tau Shard this week. I'm also going to uh, give you a quick uh, uh, idea that I think DE should do soon as well uh, after this. But basically, this week I did not get a Tau Shard. That would mean that next week I would technically still have a 20% drop rate for whatever the Shard would be. Uh, but then if I keep not getting Tau Shards, my drop rate for each color is going up and up and up. And if I was super unlucky, eventually I'd get a 100% drop rate for each Archon color just in a row. But here's the thing, uh, that's all well and good, but here's the thing that DE, sh if, if anyone from DE is watching this video, we need the release date on this update as soon as possible, honestly, preferably a, over a week in advance. And why that is, is because, like I said, we're getting a pity system, but we don't have the pity system right now. So that would mean that if you do your Archon hunt, it, it resets on Sundays. We never get updates on Sunday nights in this game. If we do the Archon Hunt on a Sunday and the update comes on a Tuesday, if you did your Archon Hunt before Tuesday and you didn't know the update would be coming out, you just screwed yourself over out of that, that pity system because I guarantee it will not be retroactive. If it is retroactive, that would be great, but I'm guaranteeing you it will not be retroactive because they never do retroactive stuff in this game. Uh, so they should tell us way in advance, hey guys, don't do your Archon Hunt on Sunday the update's coming out next Tuesday, right? I don't think the update will be this week. But next week, I'll probably be a little bit more cautious on not doing the Archon Hunt immediately because, you know, they showed us the uh, the frame on the last dev stream and they said the frame didn't have abilities yet. So I'm like, there's no way the frame comes out this week. But maybe next week or the week after that. So second or third week of February. Maybe keep uh, an eye on, like, you know, be a little bit gun shy on doing your Archon Hunt right away if you haven't unlocked. Uh, by the way, if you didn't know this, to unlock this Archon Hunt we're talking about, you need to beat the New War Quest and the Veilbreaker Quest to access to this weekly mission. So, yeah, basically the best way they could do the pity system is per color. Um, there's still not going to be Archon Shard crafting or anything like that, which is 
what I think is a better idea, but hey, you know, they're, they're the game designers, we're the community, uh, we've given them tons of ideas, and at least they're, they're at least not doing it the worst way possible, which is what it seemed like at first. Uh, a pity system that was tied to every color, and just whatever you get, you get. It's per color now, so no need to skip Archon Hunts. Uh, I'll be still, you know, live streaming all the Archon Hunts and all that stuff, so... That's it for the video, guys. Hope you find it fun and helpful. Uh, DE, we really need that release date as soon as possible. Even even if the release date is like later in the month, we just need to make sure we don't waste our Archon Hunt pity timer before you actually add it. So, either way, guys, I'll see you next time. I appreciate all the support. Peace.